Hello, thank you for joining me. It's Thursday the 29th of February. So obviously that does mean we're at the end of the month. Now I like to do a little bit of reflective tarot at the end of months because it's good to take a little moment to look back and see what we learn as we leave one month and start another. So I'm going to use my cards for the first card. I'm going to pick a card that summarises February and maybe how that kind of played out for you. So let's see what comes in. Okay, we've got the Page of Pentacles. I love the yellow of this card. There's a few cards in the Rider Waite pack that have a yellow background and they're all quite inspiring. Well, most of them are. The Seven of Swords is a bit challenging, but you know, the Magician, the Strength card, they all have this beautiful, bright, optimistic, shall we say, background. And what I love about this page of pentacles today is how focused he is on that pentacle. He's not doing much, but he's got that in his hands, he's examining it, he's, he's really lost in thought perhaps. So we're using this card to summarise February. Maybe as this is the, towards the end of the astrological year, it might be a time when you haven't done an awful lot as in putting wheels in motions, taking actions, but you're certainly giving some thought to where you go from here. So if we're going through the theme of the colours, we've got this green tunic on. Green for me can mean two things. I mean, it can mean anything to anyone, but for me personally, green is a sign of healing and green is also a sign of transformation because it's the colour of our heart chakra. So I really feel like there's a message here about being aware that we do need to make changes and that we do need to heal certain things that have happened before, before we can move on. And I love the red headscarf as well. Red is, is um, for me, it, it signifies the root chakra and the groundedness that we can get. And the fact that he's wearing that around his, his head as a scarf, um, kind of makes me feel like they're keeping a level head, keeping a real level, practical minded plan, putting a plan together perhaps. Um, and I love that the nature is, is confusing because we have got the little flowers here in the grass and then we've got the mountains in the background that look a little bit inhospitable. So maybe we're gonna go there, maybe we're gonna go to the trees. We don't quite know in which direction we're going yet, but we are aware that we do need to take some sort of direction in our lives. So I'm feeling February was very much a month where that has been your thought process perhaps. And obviously we did have that lovely healing energy all around us during February, especially around the time of the full moon last week. Um, so hopefully that has kept you grounded and healed and ready to move forward. So let's see what this next card brings. This is gonna signify what's gonna happen in March. So it's a spoiler card to see what's coming up. So let's have a look. Oh, and I was talking about these lovely yellow backgrounds, wasn't I? And here's another one. Okay, so have a look there. Can you see in the background, I know we're looking at the yellow, but these houses and castle that seems to be in the background is on top of a mountain. Well, there's a mountain here, isn't there? So I feel like this is gonna, maybe you're gonna be moving mountains, metaphorically speaking, in March. Moving mountains in March, okay. <laughs> but I like the fact that because we've planned, because we've been so methodical, because we've really thought things through and been very grounded and worked on a level where, you know what, I'm gonna do what's right for me, what feels right, what's gonna heal me and help me grow then success is in the offering. Because if you work with that um, energy, then yeah, it does effortlessly fall into place. And you could almost see that mountains joined here, isn't it? Perhaps it isn't as inhospitable as we first thought. Perhaps it's the most amazing place ever. And we don't know, because we've never gone there. So perhaps this is the sign that, that you are venturing into the unknown as we move into March, but actually it should be something very exciting and you should feel very accomplished and that you've achieved a great deal when you get there because that is the sign of these four wands um, that they're in the foreground of this picture and there's like a, um, you know, flowers tied to them as if it's some sort of celebration. So 
maybe there will be some sort of celebration. Obviously, Easter is at the end of March this um, this year. It's a little bit earlier than normal. So if you do celebrate Easter, you might have a plan that by Easter, I want to have fill in the gap for you. Um, this kind of points in the right direction that this will be um, this will be a celebration for you or an accomplishment. The number four in a reading is stability. And that's great because we had a lot of changey, kind of uncertain cards, didn't we, as we were going through January and February. But I feel like this is a real shift and a positive shift. What I'm also noticing, I'm sure you can see, is there's two people there in the distance waving bouquets of flowers and there's children there sort of dancing around in a circle having a little party i feel like this is the idea that you'll be welcomed in somewhere maybe welcomed into a new family if you're meeting a partner's family for the first time or maybe welcomed into a new office or work environment or study area maybe you'll suddenly get a friendship group or join a group that you suddenly got like-minded people. I do feel that this, going back to the Page of Pentacles, he's investing somewhere. So it might be um, his time, it might be a business, it might be the idea of, I want more out of my life. So I feel like go with whatever these plans are and they're not only gonna be beneficial to you, but they're gonna lead you to a path where you find people working on your vibrational, energy level which is always a really great way to sort of grow ourselves and you know how the universe puts people in our way to help us help them so i feel like this is positive partnerships so however as a collective message personally you want to take that whether it's romantic business friendships whatever maybe even your children or or parents in some way working together to, to make make things a little bit more positive so i love the positivity that we're going to have in march and i hope that that follows through with every reading we have for the next 31 days but do come back i'm here every day so please do come back and i will give you another message tomorrow have a wonderful day bye for now